Hi, let's get back to our discussion on exponential random variables. So previously, I hope you all think about this. Okay, so we wanna um, in when when we introduce a Poisson random variable, we divide a period into a series of one minute periods, and um, we wanna count the number of lightning that occurs in this uh, ten. Uh, the sum of the number of the, uh, the number of lightnings occur in this uh, ten periods. Okay, um, we're gonna use that kind of experiment to model the wave period. Okay, so we so we're gonna have this uh, one minute period, and it might be the case that uh, you have to wait for longer than ten minutes, uh, ten periods. So it's not gonna have we're not gonna have ten periods. So we have um, longer than that. And we want to say uh, an indicator random variable x to be 1 if there's a lightning. So suppose there's lightning here, so it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and so on. And we want to model this uh, wait period. So let's count the last period where we have to wait here. Okay, so how are we going to model this? Um, okay, I hope you all think about it. So this is something pretty close to, to what we have done before. Okay, so uh, we are talking about how long that we have to wait until something good happens, right? So this is like uh, we are tossing um, uh, the coin three times, and then we get a head here. We have a tail, tail, and then we have tail, head here. So this is two period of wait, okay? So we, we want to analyze how long we have to wait until we see this, right? So this is pretty much, uh, uh, it's like we can have uh, this to be 1, so with prob probability of one, uh, 3 over 10, but you have tail, 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 and then you have a head here, right? So um, you have to wait for 4 periods. All right. So this is close to uh, this is exactly what we've learned before, right? Do you recall it? Anyway, so let's look at. Uh, um, so we wanna this random variable j. Okay. So let's just think about the first time. Okay. So a random variable j is uh, no y is j, where uh, j is the minimum integer such that x j is one. Okay. So you have a set of random variables. Uh, is it uh, gonna be zero? Gonna be zero. 1, 0, 0, something, and so on. But you want to count the first time you see 1, right? So this is the random variable j that we would like to count how long we have to wait until we see 1, okay? All right, so uh, what is the probability that y is 1? Recall that um, you're going to see uh, 1, 0, 0, 1, like this. But you're going to see 1, so the probability that xi is 1 is independent of other i, other x, x, right? So this is uh, 0 0.3, this is what we assumed before. So what's the probability of y equals 1? So it means that the first time you uh, look at this, you get 1 the first time right away, right? So this is uh, 0 0.3. So what's the probability that you get uh, y is equals 2? So it has to be that the first one is 0, and then the second one is 1, right? So this occurs with probability 1 minus 0 0.3 times the probability that the second coin toss is 1, right? Now, in general form, uh, what is uh, probability of uh, y um, equals j? So it has to be that the first uh, j minus 1 time, you have to fail, right? there's no lightning there so j minus 1 and the last time it has to be there so this is 0 0.7 times 0 0.3 this is 0 0.7 times to the j minus 1 times 0 0.3 1 uh, 0 0.3 all right um let's um okay again we we can use this kind of modeling to uh think about the uh, distribution on the the number of time that we have uh, the, the how long period that we have to wait and the distribution is if you recall is it's it's geometric so it's going to look like this okay 
And as in the case where you, okay, so it's geometric, so let me write it here. It's geometric. Okay. Now, if you want to be more, um, you know, getting closer to the real thing, we're probably not going to think about one minute and, and the probability that you see at lightning at 0 0.3. We want to increase the, the number of period. Okay. So let's think about the using uh, 100 periods. Okay. So now, so there's a lightning in the i period. The probability for that, because you know that on average you're going to see uh, three lightnings per 10 minutes, right? But now you have 0 0.1 minutes, to, so the probability that you're going to see it is going to be just 0 0.03. And uh, the probability that you have to wait for j period is what? So you have to fail for the first j minus 1 period and the last one you have to su succeed so 0 0.03 so that's uh, 0 0.97 to the j minus 1 times 0 0.03 okay and can we do better than this can we get in closer and closer to the real uh, uh, distribution and the real continu continuous thing we can um, oh by the way so the number of period here, you need to uh, multiply this by how how large of the period is. So you have to, if you want to get the actual time, you have to multiply zero point uh, the number of period here with zero point one, so that you get the uh, the you know the amount of time you have to wait. But if you want to do that, um, we can use the period of length uh, zero point zero one or zero point zero zero one, or getting smaller and smaller or you know, it's going to be just dt. dt is the amount of time which is, you know, really extremely small, right? If you do that, we're going to end up with uh, this kind of random uh, variable, which is uh, an exponential random variable, okay? Um, so this random variable is, is, is uh, continuous, and um, the PDF, the probability density function fx, is given by, okay, so f of x, it's going to be, um, there are two cases. So if x uh, is less than 0, so you have to wait, right? So you ha cannot wait for a negative amount of time. So um, if x is less than 0, so this is 0, okay? But otherwise, uh, it depends on the, the, this parameter, okay? So it's going to be uh, this uh so it's going to be um, exponentially decreasing, so it's going to be sigma to the x times lambda, okay? So you can see that this uh, e to the, this is basically e to the minus x. So if you increase the value of x, it's, it drops pretty quickly exponentially. But then uh, there's, uh, there's this uh, lambda thing here. So if lambda is, is large, so it drops faster, it's really faster. If lambda is, is small, it drops slower. So basically, this lambda controls how fast the probability drops. Okay. All right. Um, um, when we have the PDF, we have to look at uh, its counterpart, which is the, uh, the CDF the cumulative distribution function. So it is uh, this value if fx is basically the probability of x is at most x and you have to take the integral right, from minus infinity to x of little f x d dx. But you know that uh, fx is going to be zero when this is negative. So this is this is equal to 0 to x, okay? And then you plug in the lambda e to the minus lambda x dx. Right. Um, um, uh, I'm, I'm going to change this from uh, from x to y so that we, we're not getting confused with this x, all right? So this is going to be y. This is going to be dy. Okay. So if you recall um, um, calculus, so this is basically if you want, if you want to solve it, we I can show you in class or you can try to derive it yourself. 
this is basically uh, 1 minus e to the minus lambda x okay if you do the the basic integral you can figure this out and and this is the probability that uh, you end up having uh, to wait less than x unit and if you take x to infinity then this go to to one right so it occurs at some point all right so from this uh, to uh, definitions let's uh, look at this question of the segment so if we have an elliptical lamp which has a lifetime in in hours uh, and, and it's uh, an exponential random number with, pr with parameter 1 over 10,000 okay, in hours. Uh, what's the probability that it breaks before um, 8,000 hours? So let's think about this and then uh, if you finish the calculation, let's, uh, let's uh, please proceed to the next clip. Okay, see you.